back to all my fashion lovers home and abroad this is your little girl is saying thank you thank you thank you for your support throughout 2021 you guys are the best thanks for liking my videos thanks for sharing thanks for your comment thanks for motivating me thanks for subscribing thank you thank you god bless you and this year 2022 shall be a year of our great turn around in jesus name please guys your girl is here again this year um i need your support you know we can do it we are our target is to eat five thousand subscribers you know it's just small very small five thousand subscribers and i need your help i need your help please all i want from you guys is to like comment share with your love uh, with your loved ones families invite them to subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, as you do so god bless you in jesus they all to tell you that 2022 you know i am here for you as you they ought i would give you now you know i am here for you any style you want me to illustrate our whatsapp number is there you can just send to our whatsapp number oh be allowed please illustrate this time for me and i promise you i will um adhere to your request and um, please, like I said, want to eat 5,000 subscribers. We can do it through you, 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 and you. Yes, help your girl. And in case you want to enroll for any of our online classes, we have the intermediate class where you get to learn the mermaid's um, dress with a god day attached at the back. Then we have the corset class. Oh, God, that course. And they are very affordable. 2,000 grand. Baby. And you get to learn so many sewing techniques there. The corset plan, you know, I know how to simplify it now. Forget about it again, you know. Then another one is coming. Yes, before the end of this month. Oh my God, did you know? It's a kitty special class. Oh God, it's going to be hot. Just 2K, no, I mean 2K. Help your girl motivate me. And um, what else? What and what and what? Okay. So today I want to illustrate, you know, this beautiful bubu gown. You know, stylish bubu gown. You know, now not um, a balag but like maybe gown you know it's a bubu gown and it's a pencil gown let me call it pencil bubu gown yes i see the back the zipper and trust me it is very you know when biola said very when biola i'll tell you it's simple it is very simple and in less than 20 minutes we are done so you guys see you on the cutting table Bye. okay fashion lovers welcome to the cutting table so what you want to do first is to fold your fabric into two like this then i just spin down so that it's not moving here and there then i have length 60 or thereabouts so for your sleeve for you to know the sleeve length just place your table at your center back like this where you have your bone and measure like this too, so that you can get sleeve length. So mine is about 21 inches. So I'll just mark the 21 inches. Then we need to measure our vertical length. Half of your arm hole or chest line. Mine is 9 inches. So from the shoulder. I'll mark nine inches. The next thing I want to mark is my waistline. I'll mark my waistline. You should mark yours. Then the hip depth. As you can see in the picture, it is a pencil gown. So let me say pencil boot gown. So you need your nail legs. And remember, this is our gown length, so there's no need for you to mark there. Then on the shoulder line, you want to mark your shoulder. Mine is eight inches. I'll mark it. I'll repeat the same thing too on my chest line. Then I'll connect with a straight ruler. Then you want to mark your one inch for shoulder slope. Then you get the midpoint. I have eight inches here. Half of it is four inches. 
then I need to pump in by half inch or 0.75 for the front use 0.75 and for the back use half inch now we need to input our second fence so my bus second fence I will mark 9.75 for my bus second fence 9.75 I have added some ease you can do so also and if you want it really really fitted you don't bother adding any piece to it so for my waistline it's 8.5 8.5 then my e is 11 inches like i said i have added ease to it then on the new line i want to make it pencil you can make your straight so if you're having a straight um Google gown, if you can repeat what you have on the hip line, you can just put it on the main line. But if you want to pencil, that means you will reduce some inches. So I'm going to reduce 1.5 inches. So if I reduce 1.5 from 11 inches, I should have 9 inches. Sorry, I should have 9.5. 11 minus 1.5, give me 9.5. Then I'm going to just raise it up. And mark exactly what I have on the main line, which is 9.5. I'll mark it on the end line. So the next thing for me now is to connect the, my straight ruler. I'm connecting from the waist to the bust, from the waist to the hip, from the hip to the knee. Then I'll need this and I'll connect it straight down please I am marking on the right side of the gown I'll tell you the reason why later. I am marking on the right side of the fabric, rather. So now I want to construct my armhole. Perfect. Now we want to shape. We want the shape of our boo-boo there. So now, on this slip length, let me just repin. On this slip length, I measured 21 inches. That's it. what I wanted. 21 inches. Yeah, but I had an half inch for joining to it. So if you want to connect, you can connect from here. But before you connect, you want to come down by 2 or 2.5 inches. Want to come down by two or two point five inches, then you will connect. You connect straight to the neck width, but let us construct our neck. So I will just do my standard three by three inches. Then we will water it later. This is our standard three by three inches. And I'll just finish. So I'll connect it from that three inches. I'll connect straight. I'll connect it straight. You can connect from these two inches straight to the neck width, or you connect first. You know, a normal basic gown. You connect the neck width to the shoulder sleeve. Can you see? Is there any pain because of my connection? Then from there, you can now connect from there, from the shoulder slope, you can now connect it straight, I you see, to the two inches that you came down with. So now, you want to connect from these two inches now, you want to connect it straight to, you can connect your boo straight to the 
waistline the shape straight to the waistline or to the hip line it depends on what you want so i will be connecting it to the hip line you can connect yours from here to the waistline it depends so let's go with the edge of my hip curve i don't want it to call it Then I'll come back. Yes, it's fine. I don't want to too call me. If I am not satisfied with it, I can just see blend. But I think it's fine. It's just okay for me. So let me try and blend this. Yes. Perfect. So the next thing is to mark our one inch seam allowance. And our beautiful and stylish beautiful gown is ready. So when we are sewing now, we sew this on the right side, then we sew the same allowance on the wrong side. You know, I had that half inch here. So after sewing, I'll have my 21 inch back. It's just fine. It's okay. If you still want to add your half inch, you can go ahead. Then another thing is I will be having my half inch here. So the upper part, you don't bring it down for us to see. And it will be the connection. We are almost done with the cutting. So as for the neckline, you know, we just constructed our neckline to be three by three. That is the standard. So I want one inch. I am extending it by one inch. That's four inches. After sewing, I will have 4.5. Then for the depth, I make it 4.5. After sewing, I have half a I will have uh, five inches. You can just do any neckline of your choice. Any neckline of your choice. So guys, we come to the end of the cutting. But before, I'm going to show us the back and explain some things to us because of the zipper allowance. In case you don't want zipper at the back, that means the front and the back will be the same thing, but you will not make it pencil so that you need to work. You can just uh, add some inches at the hemline and make it a bit free or make it a line at the hemline. Yes, I made it for a client and it's just too, too, too beautiful. You can do that. But because you want to replicate exactly, there's a picture that we saw. So this is the back, so this, my fashion numbers. I, the same thing with the front, just that is at the back that we have slight um alteration so now from the shoulder you want to mark your chest line your waist your hip your knee and the legs the same thing mark your vertical measurement from the bust the waist the hip the 
name. Now, for the name, you know, we minus 1.5 straight at the back, at the front. But for the back, you know, 1.5 by 2 gives you 0.75. So at the center back here, you mark 0.75. You are going to split the 1.5 inches into two. You will not just deduct the 1.5 inches straight by it from the front. You will split it into two. So at the side back, you have 0.75. And at the center back, you have 0.75. So what you have at the middle will now be 9.5. If you don't get yourself confused, the easiest way for you to get it is what you have on your new line. Sorry, what you have on your hip line. For me, I have 11 inches. Abby, just come here from the center back. But please, let me please say, you know, the back has super allowance. So just before you start drafting, make sure you leave one one inch zipper allowance so from the one inch mark 11 inches the same thing you have on the hip line mark 11 inches so where you where the 11 inches ended come in by 0 0.75 from the one inch zipper allowance go in by 0 0.75 so from this 0 0.75 and the other 0 0.75 in between them you should have your 9.5 that's if you are deducting 1.5 then you take it straight down the same thing too at the end line it is just too simple then on the waistline because you want to eliminate bulge yes it's a booboo but it's a stylish boo <laughs> so at the waistline too from your one inch zipper allowance go in by 0.5 or 0.75 or one inch depending on your size so i did 0.75 and connect it straight to the neck width so that means from the center back you go in by 0 0.75 and connect it straight to the neck width. So it's from that 0 0.75 you now start measuring your waist measurement, which mine is 8.5. I hope you understood it's simple. Then you know from here I, I went in by 0 0.75, I connected it straight to the neck width, my back neck width, and I connected it straight to the hip. Then from the hip, I'll connect it straight to these my 0 0.75. Remember, on the main line that was uh, we split it into two, then take it straight down. Why are we doing this? So that we don't have bulge at the back of our gap. Then the same thing, I split them to 21 inches. I added half inch to make it 21.5. I also added half inch for joining on the shoulder line. My neck width is the same thing. For the neck width, 4 inches, after so you have 4.5, the neck depth, 4.5 after sewing i have five inches so i have the same neckline for both fronts and back then you can see my um booboo -boo and then the same thing like i did then from there i added my one inch from sewing so what i want to do now i want to place my front on the back so that i can put together so that i will have the same shape Okay, so I want to start cutting. This is my front. I place it on the back. Remember to leave your one inch zipper around. So let's start. Okay, guys, so you can see our beautiful gown. Now let's cut out the zipper side. Remember, we did some attrition here. So I'll just notch the zipper side here. Not only the line notch. Zipper side, I will notch my hip. This is my hip. So, this is my knee. Remember this um, style I stopped here. So, there's no need for me to notch my hip. I just notch my knee in again. Okay? Also, much the neck line. Okay, 
So the next thing for us to do now is to cut up. Okay, guys, so for me to cut the casing, I folded my fabric into two. I'm just mark the one side of my fabric into two. And I place the front on it. Like I said, you can use bias to take the neckline. Okay, so I'm trace out the neckline then. Five inches is fine. Five inches. You can have more than that. Five inches is fine. Now, let me cut out. I said I need five inches. Or six. Let me see if I have up to six here. I have six. So let me just make it six inches. The longer you're facing, the better. So it's so like it won't come out. So be coming out of your dress when you get to go. You should use any gun or you tap down after turning the left leg. Any which one is fine. What I'm just doing is to mark the six inches all around and connect. So I'm facing and I'll cut out. Not too much neckline. So this is for this. Fancy. I'll pin back and I'll repeat the same thing too for the back. Okay, so we are done cutting the uh, facing for both front and back. Then you need to cut a um, strip of fabric for the front. So what I did is to cut three inches. Three inches, then I fold beginning 1.5. Then when I open it, it's three inches. Then I use my um, steam iron to fold it half half inch at both sides, so that after I will have two inches. Fancy, we have two inches. Then just measure it. The length of the down determines the length of the long strip. Fancy. So we come to the end of the cutting. The next thing for us now is to start joining. So the first thing you want to do before you attach here is the center front. You want to go to the pressing table and press down your fabric because you need the crease line. Because you need to follow the crease line. I think I have already have the crease line here. Then you open up your streets. You have to attach it before you turn. And you're facing, so I need to not much here too. Just five much, and I'll place it on the right side. Please, on the right side of the fabric, you pin down. I don't want it to go up a bit. You pin down. Make sure the crease line on the blue fabric, on the plain fabric, aligns with the. Twist line on the Ankara fabric. And this is then I'll sew timing on this edge. Then I'll put the same thing on the other hand. Then for my zip, for my back, I'll go and attach my zipper. Please, um, your zipper should get to your hip line so I don't struggle to wear the dress. So I'll fix my zipper, close the other hand. So let me quickly go and do all this and come back and I'll continue with the class. Okay guys, so this is how far we've gone with our gown. This is my plain fabric and I have turned with my bias and I use any gum that you see to gum it down. Sorry, I have turned with my facing and I use any gum 
to come down the facing and this is the back here's my slits i'll go ahead and use any gum to hold down the remaining zipper allowance this is my zipper and it's so beautiful i have not ironed it yet but it's still beautiful and i use facing to turn it and use any ball to gum it down so i've gone ahead to join one side of the shoulder i will show sure how i did that so my right side of the front facing the right side of the back right side facing right side then you pick fabric to fabric lining to lining so your lining now is your facing remember i have my hemi gum there make sure they are lined there and you pick the two fabric and the two facing make sure they are lined pull down and I'll sew it on half inch from the facing to the fabric then and we have a smooth shoulder like this so after that you will use your bias and then you use your bias to turn from the end of this cape your bias to turn it to the other end you repeat the same thing to the other side then you come back and i'll show us the next thing to do okay so our gown is coming together so after you turn the bias can you see the, the, for the two capes the next thing for you for you to do is to join it at the side on the wrong side i have done this other side so i will teach you how to go about this side remember the same allowance we had it was one inch straight to where the cape, cape stop but you don't want to take the one inch straight to this um, tip of the cape or else that means we don't need flat so what you want to do is to come in with your curl and place it so that's why i did this one inch you can see my one inch is straight but you don't want to do that i purposely did that so that i can explain it to us better so you want to place your curve like this and have a curve to the tip i see to the tip of this um this cape so you are saying like this and continue with your one thing straight down so let me pick it with my friend we'll come and join the remaining one on the right side of the front oh my god our dress is so beautiful you know so i have joined the two sides guys i am yet to press please make sure you press yes and uh, this other side i am joining it on the right side of the uh, surface or of the fabric rather so the next thing for us now to do is to join from the chest line straight to the waist and from the waist straight to the hip and curve make sure you have a slight curve there and stop here please you are joining it on the right side and then we are done on the end line make sure you use bias to tape remember your slits i am going to fold in my one inch and use uh, my emmy gun to hold it down and uh, our dress it's ready i'll just wear it for us to see the outcome 